SQL data types. In this lesson, we will discuss data types. Remember that data is stored in the form of tables in the database, and the data is in different formats, such as the name of a person, date of birth of a person, and so forth. So we need to specify the type of data before storing it. So we need to know about the different data types. Here is the meaning of data type. Data type is used to indicate the type of information in the database columns. Here is the list of different data types supported by Oracle 10G. First, we will see integer. This is integer data type. It is a basic data type to store integer values. The next type is float. This is the float data type. Here we can store zero, positive, and negative floating point numbers. Number. In this type, we can store zero, negative, positive, and floating point numbers. In this syntax, P is the precision and S is the scale. In this type, we can store maximum 38 digits. For example, if we give the number 7, 2, it specifies the number has 5 digits before the decimal and 2 digits after the decimal. Character. Here we can store the character values. The size specifies the number of characters. For example, char 10 specifies 10 characters. In this type, we can store up to 2,000 bytes. VAR CHAR2. This is similar to the character data type, but here we can store variable length characters. The size is the number of characters to store. NVAR CHAR2. It is also like varchar2, but we can store variable length national character set strings. It supports different sets of characters from different nations. Here we have to specify the size in bytes. We can store up to 4,000 bytes. Long. Here we can store the long values up to 2 gigabytes of data. In this type, we can store a maximum of 2 gigabytes of value. Date. This data type is used to store the date values in the database. In this type, we can store dates between January 1, 4712 BC and December 31, 9999 AD. Time. This data type is used to store a time value of a day. Time stamp. It stores the year, month, day, hour, minute, and second values. Here we can divide the seconds up to nine fractional seconds precision. In this lesson, we have discussed some of the basic SQL data types. In the upcoming lessons, we will discuss how to use these data types in tables.